routing is about deciding the path that the data is going to take to get from one computer to another. So when routing the network is going to search for the shortest path and also the one which uses the fastest nodes in order to transfer that data. And what it's looking for, it's looking for the lowest cost. So this is the, the route that has the shortest path and the fastest nodes. Um, and what it will do is it will transmit the data via this lowest cost route. This is an example of how you can use Tracer to use in command prompt in order to trace the route between your computer and a web address. Um, so in this example I've gone for the University of California and you can see that this is its IP address here. Um, it starts off, you can see um, these IP addresses here are within school um, and uh, sort of on the way to um, Birmingham, so where we get our internet from which is the BGFL. Um, you can then see down here that the uh, it's gone through a router which is in London uh, and then across the Atlantic um, to uh, New York before going across to Chicago and eventually arriving at rackspace.net which is obviously the people that are hosting the University of California's website. So an IP address, there's another video which discusses IP addresses as well, um, but an IP address uh, is allocated um, to a computer uh, usually by a DHCP server um, however you can choose to um, rather than allow it to be automatically assigned you can manually assign uh, your own IP addresses to the devices on your network so this is an example of an IP address um, the IP addresses are used by the TCP IP protocol to uniquely identify uh, the computer systems within a network allowing them to communicate with each other Again, we look at TCP IP on another video. Um, and in routing tables, what happens is the IP address is then matched up um, to a MAC address and, and those are updated uh, when necessary. So DNS stands for Domain Name System and it's a distributed database. So it's a database that's stored uh, in multiple places and it matches IP addresses to computer system resources. For example, if you typed in this IP address into a web browser, it would take you to google.com. Um, but obviously, to type that in is it's much harder to remember than simply typing in google.com uh, which is essentially what um, what DNS is all about it matches up um, IP addresses to um, web addresses so that when you type in a web address it actually then looks up what the IP address for that um, URL is and it will forward you to the correct IP 